Oh, God. What's up, everybody? I just got back from the mall. Have you been to the mall lately? It's uh, not like how you remember back in the day. You remember back in the day, 90s, early 2000s, even late 2000s. It was still fun to hang around there. Now it's like, it's a whole different world. It just doesn't see like there's Spencer's and there's Auntie Anne's. You can, so you could always get your pretzel and a t-shirt that is like this here, Charlie Sheen winning. There's one other store inside the mall that I could really care about. And that is this place that sells used video games and CDs and all kinds of stuff like that. Today I happened to walk in there and I saw this box here. 50, or give or take, 50 mystery CDs. They call this the brown bag special of CDs for $14.99. So if you remember back in the day in the 90s, one CD would cost that. Well now it's the future. And everything's better in the future, right? <laughs> and now you could buy 50 CDs for the price of one. Now, do I know what I am getting myself into when I buy this? No, not really. It says bargain music, but my music tastes are very far. I have a wide range of uh, music that I like. So I feel like I am bound to at least find five CDs that are halfway decent in here. Now I do happen to have a, a taste for bargain bin music. I mean, that's how I found this really funny, and I'm sure they were probably taking it seriously at the time, but this funny boy band called the Triple Deep. I don't know, I found like a whole brick of their debut album in the bargain bin section for 50 cents a piece. And you, you kind of feel bad for these bands that never make it because look at them. They, they had a, an actual CD pressed up. How many artists nowadays can even say that they have a CD? So what I'm thinking for this box is uh, my predictions for it uh, very low. You know, will there be a Metallica CD or a, an ACDC CD or anything from a big band in here? Probably not. Hopefully there may be just like some dance music compilations in here or like just some instrumental piano stuff I could listen to and chill out to. Something along that nature. That's what I'm expecting in here. Let's dig into this box and see what this has in store. We are taking a leap of faith, everybody. Okay, so what we have at the top. Ooh. Okay, so what we have here is the Best of Big Bands, Volume 1. Very nice. <laughs> Starting off with a bang. <laughs> this was really big back in the day. This is uh, Celine Dion. Is this the one uh, with My Heart Will Go On? Yeah, there we go. This has the theme uh, from Titanic on it. I'd say that's a win. It's the City of Angels soundtrack. This has uh, Goo Goo Dolls. Uh, you too. This has some good stuff on it, actually. If I remember correctly. I think my parents had this album. Next is, uh... I don't know, who is this? He looks like, uh... American Idol castaway. Casey James? He's looking off in the distance. Looking very, very cool and serious. I wonder where he's... I wonder what he's doing. I hope he's okay. Oh! Classic! Clay Aikman was this inch measure of a man. There you go. Randy Newman, Land of Dreams. I think he did the, uh, you got a friend in me. Maybe that's someone who told different. I don't know. Next generation swing. Oh my God. And then we have the, who, who what is this? The Bad Lees with river songs. I liked you better when you hated yourself. That's the final track on this album. That should be a banger. That'll get the party started. Up uh, here we have Kelly Clarkson with All I Ever Wanted. Who is this? This is David Cook. David Cook with this Loud Morning, 19 records. I think that is the imprint. I think that's Simon Cowell's imprint or something. So, like, getting a lot of American Idol uh, nowhere people. 
This one is the Spirit of Country Christmas. We have Randy Travis with Winter Wonderland and uh, Christmas is Love by Alabama. The Heart of Christmas CD. Good News Greetings. Oh, look at that. Love, Monty and Peggy. This was a Christmas present to somebody. Ain't that precious? Look where it wound up. Here we have the greatest voices in jazz. This is Gentleman at the Top, Mel Torme. Mel Torme, singing and swinging. I know that name is familiar. I'm probably saying it wrong. Do I care? No. Oh, this is cool. Louis Armstrong, Satchmo Sings. Hello, Dolly. It's been a long, long time. Georgia on my mind. That's a good one. All right, cool. Oh, I'm not even being sarcastic. This is Republica with the song Ready to Go. And there's a lot of other good songs on here. This is definitely a win. Uh, next up, we have Bing Crosby, 30 Years of Bing. And 30 Years of Bing amounts to 10 whole tracks. That's pretty depressing. Now we have Patsy Cline, The Collection. Another Patsy Cline, The Collection. Are these both the same CDs? Oh no, they're two different CDs. Okay, whatever. Here is another Patsy Cline, The Collection. You can never have enough Patsy Cline. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, this, oh man, this is my favorite. Not. Here is John Mellencamp with Whenever We Wanted. Whenever We Wanted. This Does this have the Jack and Diane song or is that the other guy? I don't know. They, Bruce Springsteen, John Mellencamp, they're all the same to me. It's all music I don't listen to. Here's another Kelly Clarkson song, uh, CD. This is My December. Packable Cannon. And other Baroque favorites. Uh, here we have Beth Nielsen Chapman with her greatest hits there. Very nice. Here is Stacy Orico. Yeah, Orico. She looks cute. You know what that means. She makes good music. <laughs> this is cool. I, I really do have to say this is cool. The Batman Forever soundtrack. Ah, oh, wait. No, this isn't cool. This is the score. Oh, I was wanting the one with the, the U2 song on it. No, no one wants the score. Here we go. This is the super hits. Quiet Riot. Does this have Bang Your Head on it? Yep, Metal Health. Come on, feel the noise. And all the classics. My mom will sure get a kick out of that one, I'm sure. So this is Get Together. This is an American Eagle music sampler. So this has New Order on it, uh, Muse, uh, Scapegoat Wax. Here's another American Eagle Outfitters compilation CD. This has uh, The Crystal Method on it, Name of the Game. That's a good song. Uh, the Postal Service. <gasps> Uh, the American Analog. I, I don't. I never heard of anybody else. Here we have the Spirit of Brazil. Uh, girl from Empamina. Here we have Cheryl Crow without the disc, uh, the the jacket, the CD album jacket. There, Miley Cyrus with the Time of Our Lives. Here is Ian and Sylvia. Stabbing westward. This is Wither, Blister, Burn, and Peel. I think that's like a Days of the News song. Here we have Differentiate, Still Sealed. You know, do you ever like look at some of these bands that never made it and you want to like search what they're doing now? You know, like, oh, they're, they're, you know, working in a machine shop, doing something more productive than being in some crappy band, <laughs> you know? Or they're making YouTube videos. The Spirit of Alaska. This is a three-dimensional musical journey as we explore the incredible national parks and preserves of Alaska. Greet the dawn at Enchanting Wonder Lake in Denali. 
Feel the powerful forces of nature at beautiful Glacier Bay. Explore the ice blue waterways of Kenyak Fords. Enjoy the solitude and grandeur of the untamed Alaskan wilderness. We've spent hundreds of hours recording in the wild to capture the true spirit of Alaska. When recording in the wild, we use our special binaural microphone that creates a three-dimensional effect for the listener. The KU-100 is a human head replica with microphones inside of the ears, so you hear sounds with incredible realism. All right, next up, we've got Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, the soundtrack. We've got Madonna, Beautiful Stranger, The Who, R.E.M., Lenny Kravitz with American Woman, Dr. Evil with Just the Two of Us, and yeah. Here we have the Wild Wild West soundtrack. Here's another American Eagle Outfitters compilation CD. This has uh, anybody good on it? No. Okay. Here is Holiday Classics with a cute little snowman on it. Never have enough Christmas music, that's for sure. <laughs> Here we have Bruce Willis with his album The Return of Bruno. Has such hits as Coming Right Up, Respect Yourself, Down in Hollywood, and many others. That, that'll be sure fire hits. Here we have the Masters of Classical Music, Giuseppe Verdi. Here we have Kellogg's Pop Music. If there isn't an album cover that is more 90s looking than this, I don't know what is. This has such classics as Tears for Fears, Extreme, Boys to Men, Brian Adams, and the Gin Blossoms. Oh my god. You know I have this song playing all the time in my head. Mambo number no. 5 by none other than Lou Bega. The be a little bit of Mambo. Mambo number no. 5. I remember them playing that song on repeat at the lock-in at the bowling alley. If you ever attended a lock-in at the bowling alley, they like lock you in at like 10 p.m. and you can bowl all night. If you pay like 20 or 30 bucks, you just have to sleep all day, day the day before so you don't pass out during the middle of the night. But yeah, I remember the lock in at the bowling alley down the road and then playing Mambo number no. five forever and ever and ever. I think I had my full of Mambo number no. five that night and I was done. Here we have the Matrix. Oh, the Animatrix soundtrack. Everybody I, I never heard of in this album very good oh here's a good one hootie and the blowfish cracked rear view uh, this this has all the songs on it that you want to listen to from hootie and the blowfish so that's a good one right there here is box greatest hits the original soundtrack to fantasia never seen the movie do I care to? No. Here is Wagner. Magic Fire Music. Uh, here is Mozart. He's had some uh, pretty cool songs, so I've heard. And here's the final one. We are going out with a bang. We are going out with Debussy. Debussy's Complete Piano Works. With such hits as... La Danse de Puck and De Pas sur la Niche. So there you go, guys. That is what to expect when you buy a mystery box for $15 from the store at the mall. I do have to say, there was some fire CDs in this bunch, as well as some ultimate you know like surprises here like what is the one the uh the alaska one this is the one i'm probably most excited about believe it or not because of the whole uh recording method of how they captured this i can't wait to yeah sit down take a nice little jog around the block and listen to the sounds of alaska I really do like this soundtrack because it, it has uh, the Goo Goo Dolls song Iris on it. 
It's probably one of the best love songs ever, aside from Truly Madly Deeply by Savage Garden. So this is a this is a surefire hit as well. The box had some CDs in it that I could be like, hey, you know what? I'm tired of listening to everything else that I got. Do you ever get to that point where you just get tired of you looking for music that you like and you just can't find anything? And you don't want to listen to a podcast? This is probably the best route to go, just to buy a bunch of junk you have no idea what you're getting and coming across a Bruce Willis CD. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching as we unboxed a mystery box of uh, CDs, and that's that. I got another box that I got for free from the place, so stay tuned for that in the future. Anyways, I'm DJ Glowing Ice. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.